Hey everyone. Um, right now, you guys know me as Amy or Amy L. But there's something that I have to tell you. And, um, I don't mind being called Amy or Amy L. I don't mind what pronoun you want to call me by, but I've never really felt female. So, um, you can still call me Amy if you want. You can still call me she or her. I don't, I don't really mind if you do, but just so you know, I've always wanted to be a man. This is not an easy thing to come out with. But, well, I figure I'd just go ahead and come out and say it. Um, uh, my preferred name that I hope that I can change it to someday. If you want to call me by a dude name, you can call me Alex. Because I'm planning on changing my name one day to Alexander Elijah Larcy. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to start trying to work on my voice. I'm going to try to, you know, I'm going to try to grow a beard and stuff. Um, so, yeah, I, I decided I need to come on out. So, you may have seen a lot of angst and stuff going on lately. In fact, that's kind of been angst for most of my life. And while it's not going to solve every single problem in my life, I'd say, you know, at least coming out and being the man I've always wanted to be will help a lot, you know. If you're a man and you ain't treated like a man, it don't feel very good, even if you don't look like a man and even if you weren't born a boy. Even if you are born as someone's little daughter... If you're a man deep down, trying to live like a woman ain't going to work. So, and I've been trying to live as a very masculine, tomboyish woman. I've been trying to live like that. But I'm always going to get someone thinking I'll look prettier and just skirt and high heels and mess like that. And I can't live like this. I can't live being pretty. I can't live being gorgeous. I can't live like this anymore, guys. Well, sorry this is such a long video. I, I feel very liberated. I feel like there's a lot off of my chest. Well, obviously I need to work on that too. I'm going to work on getting that off my chest. But you know what I mean when I say that's a load off my chest. <laughs> I've got a lot of work to do. But it's going to be work that it'll be well worth in the end. I want to tell every single one of y'all. Be who you want to be. Be the you you want to be. Don't lie to yourself. It don't matter if you're in a relationship with someone. It ain't easy for me to do what I did. I love that man I was with. We broke up. And it ain't an easy thing to do at all. I wish him the best. I hope he gets the woman of his dreams because he wants a woman. And, well, I may be dreamy, but I ain't his woman. <laughs> Either he's okay having a man or I ain't his and he's made that one clear, so. It's going to be painful to say no, if, especially if you love someone. But take a moment and think. You want to do what's right by them. You want them to be happy with their life. Being trapped with a person they don't really get. That trapped with someone who's trapped in their own body and not happy with their life. All that, that's, not, that's not how a relationship should be. No matter how much you love each other. And like he kept telling me, I need to learn to love myself. If I'm forcing myself to be a woman, 
I ain't really loving myself. If I really love myself, and I really, really want to be a man, you know what I'm going to do. I'll treat myself like a man. I'll earn it. Again, I apologize that this video was so long. And it took me so long to get to the points and stuff. Yes, you can tell I'm nervous. And yes, you can tell I'm not a motivational speaker. I'm not a public speaker. I'm, I'm just a normal, well, I'm not really that normal, but I'm just a, I'm some weird nobody person, millennial person who just needed to say something or something like that. Well, everyone, have a nice day. And while I find my true identity, I'll, I'll still try to make plots and stuff. Uh, peace.